Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. So I just had a couple packages delivered with some reptile supplies and I thought I'd do a little video. As you may know, I'm always looking for discounts for ways that I can repurpose other items to use as reptile supplies. And often I can get a very comparable item at a small fraction of the price that it would cost to buy a dedicated reptile item such as at a reptile pet store. As you may know, the dollar store is one of my favorite places to go to look for items to use in my reptile enclosures. And I actually did a video entitled Dollar Store Reptile Supplies. So you can check that video out if you haven't already. But I actually was at the dollar store. My local dollar store is the Dollar Tree. But there are several other similar types of establishments throughout the country. And I was looking for some of my usual supplies, but I noticed that the shelves were quite bare. And I think this is because people are just hoarding stuff like crazy in the current COVID situation, because who knows what's gonna happen to society. Uh, pretty scary time. It's also probably because the supply chain is being shut down in many places due to the COVID. But what I found is I could go to the dollartree.com and I can order any supply that I get at the store and actually have it delivered to my house. And just a disclaimer, I do not get paid any money from the Dollar Tree. I'm not a marketing affiliate or anything like that. I'm just telling you guys this because it's good advice and I want you to save money and get really good reptile supplies. So I put in an order for a couple items and actually I got two packages here. So I'm just gonna open these packages right now. Got my scissors and let's get these reptile supplies unboxed. You can see it's not a very sturdy box. You can just kind of tear it open. So, you know, the packing job is probably not gonna be top notch. But you can see I got these great croc style bowls. And these are the perfect size bowls for uh, most adult boas. They're like eight inches in diameter and a couple inches deep. The boas don't tip these things over. Let's see, I actually, when I ordered them, I didn't know what colors they were gonna get. I just specified I was gonna get two dozen of these crock bowls. And they were a dollar each, of course, as is the custom of the dollar store. You know, the one caveat with ordering online is you need to buy a case of 24 items. So if you just have one or two boas, it's probably a bit too much for you. But if you have a growing collection, it's a great deal. And actually, look, I got six green and I got six of these nice kind of natural color. It looks like I got six pink and six blue. So these are the other remaining ones. So nice assortment of different colors. You know, if you want, you can color code, you can do your girl bow is pink, your boy bow is blue, or whatever. But these are really good water dishes, a dollar each. There is a shipping fee, and I ordered two crates of 24 items, which the total is $48, and I think the shipping was like an additional $16. So, you know, if you do the math, it works out to be like $1.30 per each item. So it's a little more than just buying at the dollar store but you can get as many as you want. I've seen essentially the exact same items, these bowls selling at the reptile shows for like four or five bucks a piece. So, you know, you can't, you can't beat a little over a buck for these. I've seen bowls that are a little bit thicker, like this thick plastic crock style, but these are plenty thick enough. Um, I've used them for years. I've only had one break on me. I actually dropped one from, a, I was up on top of a stool on one of my racks and I dropped it and it, I managed to chip around the lip and part of the lip broke off, but the bowl still works fine. So these are virtually unbreakable under normal circumstances. Okay, I've got one more box here that I'm gonna open. And I actually heard a little bit of like a broken sound, like something was like broken in there. So I'm hoping this didn't get broken during the shipment, but we'll just have to see. Like I said, these aren't the best packaging, but you know, when you're talking about a dollar an item, they're probably not gonna put too much into the packaging. And yeah, I do see a few little chips. Hopefully this won't be that much of an issue. But yeah, okay, so here we have 24 cat litter pans and there is some damage, I must say. I, they're still gonna be usable, but you can see 
the, the corners are a bit chipped up and there's little pieces of plastic but that's only a few of these cat litter pans and they're still going to be fine oh there's some damage on the bottom here too so caveat about ordering from the dollartree.com you don't get the best packaged items but you know for our purposes it's going to be fine so i got these litter pans and i was buying them at the dollar tree in person and I would check out with like a dozen cat litter pans and I'd get all these weird looks because people thought I was some kind of cat hoarder or something. So it's nice ordering online because it's anonymous and you don't get these weird looks. Um, they're gonna be fine. I basically, I just cut a little window or a little doorway rather, like this. This is one that I've converted into a hiding place for boas. And you can see the little door for access. I actually used a soldering iron. I just melted and it leaves nice smooth edges. You can also use scissors or a knife or whatever to cut a hole, but if you cut the hole, it's gonna leave kind of sharpish edges. So the, the soldering iron is nice to just kind of get melt the edges. And I've got two dozen of them. These are a really good size for kind of a medium to large adult bow and not the largest bow as possible but bow is up to maybe like six or seven feet this is a really good size hiding place for those and that's the majority of boas are going to be in that size range so in pretty much all my boa cages i use one plastic hide like this litter box or another type of plastic hide depending on the size of the boa and i'll also use a more naturalistic hide like cork bark is probably my favorite because the boas love the, the rough texture but you know, these litter pants make a really good inexpensive hide for your medium to large adult boas. So to wrap up this video, I thought I'd show you one of the boas from my collection. And this is a Pacalpa Peruvian true red tail boa. This is a male that was born here in 2015. And I held this guy back just because he's got these really nice thin saddles. He's got this really clean, nice yellowish coloration on his uh you know the dorsal part of his body but then you look on his belly you can see all the beautiful speckles just a really gorgeous example of a true red tail boa from peru so this guy i'm actually planning on pairing up just in a couple months here for the 2021 boa breeding season so really excited about that and got a nice litter this year of pacalpa Peru boas after not producing these for a few years. I was really excited about that. And I'm hoping to get some more of these beautiful animals next year. So please be sure to stay tuned if you're interested in these animals and following my breeding progress. I actually just did a series of videos showing you all of my planned pairings for 2021, the male and the female, and some comments about the particular pairing. So if you're thinking about possibly acquiring a locality boa in 2021 towards the fall, roughly, make sure you check out those videos to see what I have in store and so that you can follow along if you're interested in any of these possible locality boa offspring. So thanks for watching. As always, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thanks for tuning in and enjoy your boas.